Kuiper giant is a large and intrinsically bright dying star, usually larger and brighter than a giant. Let's look at a comparison of sizes of different celestial objects, starting with planet Jupiter. I will label Jupiter in panel 3 as a P, indicating that it's a planet, and it is smaller than the red dwarf star Wolf 359, which I'll label with an S. And that Wolf 359 star is smaller than the Sun, which is also labeled an S, and the Sun is smaller than Cirrus A, which is also a star, so I'll label it an S. Over here in panel four, we also start with Cirrus A, and then we move on to an even larger object called a Pollux, which is a giant star, so I'll give it a G. Even larger than that is Arcturus, which is another giant. Aldebaran is another giant. In panel five, we start with Aldebaran, which is a giant, and then we move to our very first supergiant, which is going to be Rigel. Rigel is smaller in size to another supergiant, Antares, and all the rest of the stars that we see listed here are all supergiants the largest of which is V.Y. Canis Majoris. Now, supergiants are larger than giants, as we can see, and they are usually intrinsically brighter, meaning that they're brighter at their surfaces in comparison to giant stars. Supergiants are intrinsically brighter, usually, compared to giants, but they are for sure definitely larger in size.